when you come to LSU, you want to be elite. You want to recruit elite players, and you want to be coached by elite. And uh, the development that our coaching staff has done with these young men has been a great accomplishment. Hello Tiger fans, we have a lot to catch you up on from our teams all across LSU's campus this week, including one final look back at LSU football's weekend in College Station, plus a behind the scenes tour of the Tigers football operations building. I'm Emily Dixon and this is another episode of Inside LSU Football presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Inside LSU Football, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, is brought to you each week by the eight partners that represent Team LSU. Cox, the official communications provider of LSU Athletics. McDonald's, official sponsor of the LSU Tigers. Our Lady of the Lake, official healthcare provider of LSU Athletics. Planet Fitness, official gym partner of the LSU Tigers. Ross's Markets, official supermarket of LSU Athletics. Coca-Cola, official beverage partner of the LSU Tigers. People's Health, the official health plan of LSU Athletics. And by Hancock Whitney, the official bank of the LSU Tigers. This segment of Inside LSU Football is brought to you each week by Bud Light. There's a Bud Light there. Nobody is born tough. You don't inherit resilience. You earn it by getting up every time life knocks you down. The world doesn't care how strong you are. The tougher you get, the more life throws at you. But the more life throws at you, the tougher you get. Toughness is the external evidence of internal strength. It's the disciplined expression of an unbreakable spirit. Nobody starts with toughness. but nobody finishes without it. The Tigers moved into their new home at the Football Operations Building last summer, making it one of the premier facilities in the country. It's essentially a one-stop shop for everything the Tigers need outside of the classroom, including a professional chef, college football's only walkthrough room, and a one-of-a-kind locker room. For the next few weeks, we'll tour you around a different part of the state-of-the-art LSU Football Operations Building so you can see where the Tigers get all their work done off the field. I think the most special thing about the Nutrition Center is it's, it's kind of a place of wellness and betterment. And, and I mean that not just for the athletes, but for the human beings that work here as well. We buy antibiotic-free, hormone-free meats. We buy sustainably sourced seafood that comes from local buy. We buy fresh ingredients that haven't been transported very far um, so that they have the highest amount of nutrient available for them. Not only that, you know, I think that there's something to be said about the care that goes into the food. You know, there's a relationship that's built between the athletes and our staff that is something special. We aim to make it feel like home, and I think that's what Louisiana is about, you know, family. This is our virtual walkthrough room. We are actually exclusive to be the only team in college football to have a virtual walkthrough room. 
It was a big part of us winning a national championship last season. All three phases of the game get to use our room. You have about 10 yards to work with here. You can see on the projector, we'll have a Madden style software that we use to be able to put in formations, pass drawings, and one of our members of our coaching staff will be in the back using it while our players can stand up out of meetings, get more engaged, and have our players activated and ready to go before practice. A huge part of our success starts within the facility and it starts within these meeting rooms. And having the luxury that we do here at LSU of having an exorbitant amount of meeting rooms so each individual position has the opportunity to meet separately but, but as well as a team format. All of the meetings are recorded. Say you're sitting at home and you're feeling like you're missing something, you're missing out on the teaching and the learning aspect of things. To, to go on the iPad and get that in-person feel from your home is tremendous. Well, welcome to the LSU football team room. This is where we meet before every day gets started. We'll gather here as a unit. Coach O will go over anything he needs to go over in terms of preparation for the day's practice. Um, you can see there's a chain involved as well too. So what that chain represents is togetherness. You know, Coach O's motto is one team, one heartbeat. And that's the motto of this program. And uh, that's what the chain link represents. So you're only as strong as your weakest link. So you also see the uh, mini chain links on the wall as well. So uh, whenever we win a contest, whenever we win a football game, Coach O asks if you gave 100% to, to this week's victory, come up and sign the chain. Some of the advantages of the locker is the storage area underneath. When they pull out, they can lay there and sleep. They have the arm that comes out. They can pop their iPads in, watch game film, watch TV, do work on the, on the iPad. So all of that is there. You know, we kind of cut a lot of the technology out of the room so that the guys, when they wanted to sleep, it would be a quiet space. It would be a nice peaceful space. And they would each have their own personalized areas, you know, where they could watch whatever they wanted to watch on their iPad. They'd have their headphones in and everything kind of could be personalized when they're resting. Um, but also, you know, when you look around, it, it's kind of a clean look. You don't have a lot of flashing lights and stuff like that. We didn't want all that in here. We wanted it to be very respectful for the player space and very comfortable for them. Because you, you're not segregated into little bitty small pods by position or something like that, or by number. You're actually able to talk across the pods to different positions, different numbers, and different groups of people. And it makes it a lot larger community and a lot more team oriented than just isolating different groups. The LSU football family is deeply saddened by the passing of former Tiger Ruffin Rodrigue, who was a staple around the program and throughout the Baton Rouge community. Ruffin will be missed by the entire LSU Athletics Department, and our thoughts and prayers are with his family during this extremely difficult time. Gear up for fall at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Protect your connected devices with advanced security included with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. To the people stepping up in the face of an unprecedented challenge, thank you for everything you're doing to serve our communities and keep us safe. To the people of Hancock Whitney, thanks for being the ones our clients can count on. Because even though it feels like everything has changed right now, it's reassuring to see that some things haven't. We'll get through this the same way we always do, together. We're born to be loud, born to be strong, born to work hard and tailgate harder. We're born to give it our all, on the field, in the stands, and beyond. We're born to be Tigers. We're the Tiger Athletic Foundation. 
Be part of the team behind the Tigers. Join today for better access and better perks. TAF, we're here for Tigers. Be there for them too. Annual membership starts at only $50. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. This segment of Inside LSU Football is brought to you each week by our Lady of the Lake Children's Health, one of Louisiana's largest pediatric health care networks. LSU fans got their fill over Thanksgiving break as the Tigers returned to action all around LSU's campus. Here's a recap of what happened this week in LSU athletics, starting with LSU baseball's Omaha Challenge, the team's annual winter workout to test their strength and endurance as they get ready for the 2021 season. The LSU softball team wrapped up their annual Purple, Gold, and Teal series as they get ready for the upcoming season. Head coach Beth Charina said she's proud of the work her team has put in on the field while dealing with a hectic and challenging offseason. It's been an interesting fall to say the least. Uh, I'm really proud of the work our team has put in softball-wise, but even more so I'm proud that our team stayed safe. We didn't have one quarantine the entire time. It involved an extremely elaborate system. Um, where we were trying to get the most out of these kids, keep it competitive, um, grow them as players and people. And I'm, I'm really proud of the fall that they put in. Shelby Sinceri has really led the way for the pitching staff. She's been really solid. As good as she's been in the past, she continues to add depth to what she does. One thing she's really proud of is she worked super hard over the quarantine. She used every moment of that time to be ready and she showed up ready and had her best, best fall on the mound too. LSU diver Juan Salea Hernandez was named SEC Male Diver of the Week. This is the 11th time Salea Hernandez has been awarded the SEC Diver of the Week in his career and second time this season. Salea Hernandez notched three top two finishes this week at the Texas Diving Invitational. He and the Tiger Divers will be back in action December 14th as Tulane will take on the Tigers from inside the LSU Natatorium. Coming up after the break, the Tigers kick off against the Aggies, and we have all the highlights for you straight from College Station. Plus, we hear from the Tigers post game, and of course, head coach Ed Ogeron. You need more layers, diagonal layers. I got it, Ron. Thanks. Leave him alone, Dad. Oh, honey, you should use ice blocks instead of cubes. No, no, Bud Light Seltzer goes on top. Diagonal layers. Did you peach out the Bud Light lemonade? Need more ice. And diagonal layers. I mean, if you're going to do it right. I don't need my hands getting cold. Why don't you try using a Plumsky method? Brings out the citrus notes. Dad? Got to crush the ice, son. OK, I'm out. What's his problem? Whenever the packing the cooler really, really matters, there's a Bud Light there. We get it. It feels like everything has changed. 
Masking up, changing demands at work, fewer gatherings. But one thing hasn't changed, our commitment to your health. It's why Our Lady of the Lake Physician Group keeps finding better ways to serve you. Video visits with one of our providers, online scheduling, weekend hours, and nearly 100 locations where providers know your medical history. Our Lady of the Lake Physician Group, providing you with the best care where and when you need it. Hey everybody, let's have some fun. The time is right, the party's just begun. Have a good time to crawl. Drive F-150 with 4750 cash back, plus 1,000 trade assists on top of what your eligible trade is worth. Your Southern Quality Ford dealer, proud sponsor of the national champion LSU Tigers. When the ground shifts beneath you, you can run or you can stand firm. At LSU, our stand is rock solid. Our blood runs hot, even as our heads stay cool. Because now is a pivotal moment in the fight for our future. And we refuse to back down when the world needs solutions. LSU, fierce for the future. We're born to be loud, born to be strong, born to work hard and tailgate harder. We're born to give it our all on the field, in the stands and beyond. We're born to be Tigers. We're the Tiger Athletic Foundation. Be part of the team behind the Tigers Join today for better access and better perks. TAF, we're here for Tigers. Be there for them too. Annual membership starts at only $50. This segment of Inside LSU Football is brought to you each week by LSUshop.net. For the latest in sideline apparel, gifts, and all things LSU Tigers, go to LSUshop.net. Coming off a win last week to get to 500 on the season, we get ready for a major SEC West showdown here in the Lone Star State. For years, this matchup was just another matchup in the SEC West. But over the last two seasons, this border rivalry has certainly heated up. It'll be second down. And about 14 as Mon looks to throw again. Short stuff in the flat far side. It's broken up at the 20 yard line looking for Weidermeyer again. Snap back to Mon. Looks middle of the field and will throw middle of the field and it's incomplete down around the three and I don't see any flags. Looking for Jones. Three receivers bunch to the right side. One lone receiver to the left. Mond again has time. Throws over the middle. Looking for Weidemeyer and it's broken up at about the 32 yard line near side hash. Tight formation with Marshall and Moore off to the left side is Johnson. Looks to throw and threads a needle up around the 38 yard line. Great grab by Terrace Marshall. Snap back. Mon setting up the swing pass. Spiller near side. Caught at the 38 yard line and then spun end over end inside the 30 at about the 28 yard line by Micah Baskerville. The read goes to Spiller and he's going to be dropped. The ball came loose. Offensive lineman Carson Green picked it up off the hop to keep it for the Aggies. Looking for Weidermeyer, just tosses it up near the five, and it's gonna be broken up. Down around the four yard line, don't see any hankies. Jaqueline Roy gonna be up front defensively, checks in for LSU. Mon will go under center, Spiller will be behind. They're gonna go with Mon. Ball gonna be jostled loose on the field, eventually picked up by the Aggies back at the 15 yard line. Out of the gun, three receivers left, one to the right, Finley with time throws and gonna be caught by Marshall at about the 25 racing far side across midfield Aggies trying to catch him as he cuts back to his left and drop down near the Texas A&M 30 yard line big hitter A&M went for the interception just over the fingertips and Marshall takes it on the catch tight end Weidemeyer just off the line to the left and one single receiver to the near side and has Jones now brings Spiller in the backfield and on the snap going to give to Spiller and again going to be eaten up 
Back at the 10 yard line, another loss of a yard. Micah Baskerville, AM one for six on third downs. It's going to go to Spiller, and again, he'll get to the line of scrimmage and be cut down by Ray Thornton. No gain on the play. It'll be fourth and 21, and the Aggies will have to punt it away. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So a 41 yarder and a 40 yarder for Seth Small. And the Aggies take a 13 to nothing lead. First out of 10 for the Aggies. First snap of the second half for Kellen Mond. Spiller's on a wing to his right, 125 yards rushing in the first half. They'll make the pitch to Spiller. Going to be pulled down and dropped. Back at the 35 yard line, a four yard loss. Great job by Cordell Flott. Looking at second and 14 at the 35. Quick unload, it's deflected at the line and incomplete. Middle of the field, Neil Farrell Jr. got his big paw up there, the senior out of Mobile, Alabama. Finley on first down and 10 from the 29. Little play action, comes out firing, catch made at the 45 yard line, near side. Excellent catch by Jeray Jenkins and a great throw that time. A benefit of the cannon from the freshman T.J. Finley. First down and 10, twin backs out of the shotgun. Spiller comes near side, cuts back to the left. Going to be pulled down from behind. They'll say the ball came out, but the ground could not cause the fumble. Spiller again takes the handoff, slips in the backfield, and will be helped down at about the nine-yard line by Ali Gay. Back at the nine-yard line. Again, drive started at the eight. This time a handoff spiller trying to go up the middle. LSU crashes down, gets back to the line of scrimmage. That is all. Jacoby Stevens coming in. Shotgun snap. Mon under pressure. Mon gonna go down. Dropped at the 42-yard line. It's a fumble. And it fumbled. Now an offensive lineman picks it up, runs down the middle of the field, and gets tripped up inside the 20. Twin backs. Late pressure, he unloads, and the pass gonna be broken up at the 15-yard line. And he just got nailed and is slow to get up as Kellen Mond. Snap back. Protection holds, Johnson fires, grabbed out of the air by Terrace Marshall at about the 47-yard line. Johnson again steps up, steps back, tries to plant, pumps once, now back pedals and throws, and a grab made at the 38-yard line of the Aggies. Once again, Terrace Marshall. Johnson, late pressure, able to drop it off underneath. Catch made by Eric Gilbert. Knocks down two Aggie defenders and then carries three more inside the five down to the four-yard line with an even minute to go. Johnson stands tall, fires, catch made in the end zone. Terrace Marshall picks up the score and the Tigers are on the board with 38 seconds remaining in this game. Terrace Marshall with his 10th receiving touchdown of the season. When we return on Inside LSU Football, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, we'll have an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with Coach O. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team, and it never tasted this good. With no fees or minimums on checking and savings accounts, banking with Capital One is like the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Kind of like... It's looking kind of chilly out today. What am I going to wear? I think I'll go with a cardigan. Yep, even easier than that. And with a top rated app that lets you deposit checks and transfer money anytime, anywhere, is it really even a decision? That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Gear up for fall at Academy Sports and Outdoors. When the ground shifts beneath you, you can run or you can stand firm. At LSU, our stand is rock solid. Our blood runs hot even as our heads stay cool. Because now is a pivotal moment in the fight for our future. 
and we refuse to back down when the world needs solutions. LSU, fierce for the future. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. This segment of Inside LSU Football is brought to you each week by Academy Sports and Outdoors. With curbside pickup, it's never been easier to shop in-store or online at academy.com. All right, guys, tough day. You know, uh, I thought the defense made a lot of improvement. Uh, really, I thought they played well, held them to 13 points. And uh, we, made, we gave up some, a couple big plays, but for overall, I thought some of those guys Really, really played one of the best games. I was proud of that. Very disappointed in offense. Uh, we didn't have any rhythm. Uh, we went with Max. We thought we could do some quarterback runs. We couldn't block them up front. Uh, their front played very well. Give them credit. Minus three in the turnovers. You can't. You, you're not going on the road. Minus three in the turnovers. We got to take care of the football better. We got a lot of young players out there, man. They just got to learn how to play. We got to keep fighting. Very inconsistent. I thought the offense was inconsistent all day. Uh, they, they had a great plan on defense. Uh, we didn't match the plan. We should have had a better plan on offense. We couldn't run the ball. We couldn't protect. You know, it's not all the quarterback's fault. I mean, he was running for his life all day. Both of them were. So, uh, just got to look at the film and get a better plan. Well, you know, hey, we win as a team and we lose as a team. You know, we've had some, uh, we've had some games where we scored 40 points and lost. And uh, so, uh, you know, we can't look at it like that, but I, I will say I was pleased with the defensive effort today to hold them to 13 points. Um, we give, we give Bo Pelini credit and the defensive staff and give our players credit. I thought we played very well up front. Uh, we gave up too many yards on Spiller, but for the most part, we played well. Really impressed with their man-to-man -man coverage, really impressed with the, uh, the communication there, not as many breakdowns, giving up explosive pass plays. Uh, we didn't give up many explosive pass plays. We gave up a couple of pro uh, explosive runs. I thought the, the secondary is probably the most improved group on the field. We had some spots in the game where we could have took over. Our defense was playing well. We just couldn't punch it in on offense. I thought we were going to catch on fire on offense, but we never did. You know, just uh, just take out the, those two-minute situations uh, right before the half. You know, we go a couple of three and outs there. We put the defense back in, and they stop it. I think that uh, just the execution, overall execution of offense was poor today. It's a good thing having LSU athletics rolling again, and things will certainly stay busy in the month of December, starting with one of college football's biggest rivalries, LSU versus Alabama, right here in Tiger Stadium, which was postponed in November. As always, thanks for tuning in to Inside LSU Football, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. We'll see you next week. Our coaching staff has done with these young men has been a great accomplishment.